All right, we're back for another review there, boys and girls. Uh, this time, new one to the NSLC. Uh, just showed up, I guess, probably this week. Um, Rare Bird. Uh, pretty much the other beer that Rare Bird makes. Uh, full steam stout. So, Rare Bird, our uh, authentic seacoast uh, brewing company or whatever. Yep. From Guysboro, Nova Scotia. Uh, says it's a hardy brew built for the authentic seacoast. Uh, nicely hopped East Coast Stout. I don't want the tasting notes. Um, pours black as starless night, capturing the unique seacoast spirit of the Maritimes, apparently. Pure artisan water. Malted barley, hops, organic, full steam coffee. And yeast and licorice root. So that's a little bit different than what you usually find these days in stouts. Uh, a little bit of licorice root there. So that's cool, and it's a whopping 7%, so it's right on the borderline of uh, Imperial and regular. And it's a 660 milliliter bottle. I picked up some extra ones of these for beer males. So uh, Rhino and Joe will have one to try together. Uh, Ewart will have one, and Guy will have one. And uh, when I do another round of beer mails, who knows when the hell that will happen, I'll try to get some out to uh, Dale and some other people as well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to open it up and see what we think. And we'll be All right, right back. we're back with Authentic Seacoast's Rare Bird uh, Full Steam Stout. It has organic full steam coffee, uh, local, uh, local organic coffee uh, makers here in the Maritimes. Actually implemented into the brew, so... Looking at it, it, it does look pretty much pitch black if you're just looking at it at a glance. Put it up to the light, you do get like some deep mahogany tones there. Very nice color. Bit of a tan head there. So we'll go right to the aroma. Let's see what Doggy's doing over there. Sniffing around. Just like I'm doing right now. All right. Um, I say you can you can definitely tell the difference when there's actual authentic coffee in a beer. You know, not where they just say um, coffee notes or whatever. You know, where the the malts are roasted to that degree. Here, you you get a real authentic uh, roasted coffee uh, aroma on this. It smells very good. A little mild, but it's not bad at all. A little bit of chocolate, uh, but it's predominantly the coffee. Not getting any licorice on the actual nose. Mmm, nice coffee roast on there. Just like smelling the. Uh, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. It's like walking past the coffee grinders at a grocery store or something like that. Uh, just that that nice, pure, rich, roasted coffee smell. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go right to the taste. Cheers. Wow. That's a big time coffee drinker's beer, man. Um, wow. Yeah, immediately I'm going to compare it to um, Bose uh, Bottle Imp that I just recently had, where that was just big time coffee. Um, this is even more uh, bitter coffee roast on this one. Um, it's sort of uh, that and like the Burnt Rock Vanilla Porter from Bose and some other coffee beers I've had, except there's not a lot of sweetness or anything else coming into it. I am getting the licorice root. Um, actually, the really the the sweetness that is balancing here is this really uh, herbal licorice kind of taste, almost kind of medicinal, um, and it's just underlying. It's just sort of in the background a little bit, just giving a little bit of a fluctuation and uh, taste there, uh, what to what is mostly just a predominantly big time coffee stout. Um, Mouthfeel, 
light medium I'd say it's not um, syrupy it's not you know what I call full full bodied or anything like that finish is just nice roasty goodness a little bit of hops probably coming in there as well but for the most part it's the coffee roast again uh, no alcohol at all 7% ain't there this drinks about as easy as well for me it does it drinks about as easy as rare birds uh, pale ale which is dangerously easy to drink uh, for me this is equally as dangerous because I like coffee but if you don't like coffee you'll probably or you're just not a big fan you'll probably sip on this one so it won't be a problem but if you're a big time coffee drinker this is alcoholic coffee it's what it is really good stuff really really good uh, not incredibly complex so but you know what they don't say it's an imperial stout so you don't get too uh, bent out of shape about that sort of thing um, if they said imperial stout I'd probably expect a little bit more but no they're just saying it's a big stout that's all so good on them um, I'm gonna go four out of five I like it I like it a lot really good stuff uh, get it at the NSLC now in single bottles cheers